Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Wait, welcome back? But I've completed the game, and I can, as you can see I've beat it one time already. But now we can visit the Dimensional Vortex, and I will go over that a little bit later, actually. But, the game is not finished, and this is a really, I think, I think this is a unique concept to Chrono Trigger when it first came out, and people were blown away by this. So if you keep on going, ending number one. Most games only have one ending. That's why it's called The End. Ending Log. What the heck are they talking about? Okay, well, we want to save our game completion data. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that's the party that I defeated Lavos with, Chrono Frog and Luca. But yeah, let's go ahead and return to the title screen. And you can go through the, uh, the opening cinematics again if you want. What I want to do is now we've got a couple of new items that we can select here on the menu screen. So the first thing we want to do is select extras. So let's take a look at that. And here's our save file. So let's go ahead and save that, uh, load this file. Yep. And that's where we got some new things here in the extras menu. So now if you want, we can visit or we can see all of the movies again. And there's another movie apparently. And I'll have to go find that uh, the next time. And we have concept artwork so you can kind of see... Sorry, let me, let me go through this again pretty quickly. Or, I went through this pretty quick. So, yeah, you can see this is what all the characters look like in their concept there. There's Ayla. And, ooh, I guess that's pretty badass. Ice and Flame. So, yeah, this is their antipode attack. And Ayla's entrance. And Ayla and the Dactyl. So, this is pretty cool. And so there's Ayla there. There's the Epoch. <laughs> Smiling Princess, that's cool. Ooh, I was going to Magus's castle. I'm going through this kind of quickly, so if you do want to check out the uh, artwork, just pause uh, the video and you can take a look at the artwork there. And there's the wedding ceremony, and Sketch of Chrono, and, and some of these characters you can see on the... I believe you can see some of these on the box artwork, I think, of the, the artwork, or on the box of the game. Where this, where this all came. So you can check that out. And there's, there's a few sketches that we need to that we need to check out as well. And we'll go over that eventually. And if you want, you can listen to the different... Yeah, so you can see the different uh, soundtracks of the game. So you can go through here. Let's see if we've got all these. Yeah, okay, so we got all that. So that's good. So say we wanted to say like Scala's theme. So there's that, and basically you can go through and see all of the... There's that soundtrack. Basically you can go through and see, or hear all of the different soundtracks of the game there. And now here in the dojo, you can see um, all of the different texts of the game, and how they all work. Now I haven't had the opportunity to go through, and basically you see text learned 87%. So I haven't learned quite I haven't quite learned all the dual text of the game because I just haven't paired all my characters together. So basically what I need to do is just pair all my characters together, and that's how you can that's how you can get all the different texts. So yeah, and I'll go do I'll do that uh, on my next playthrough. Here's the bestiary. And uh, so you can see all the different enemies of the game. So I, I've, I've discovered 202 enemies, but I haven't discovered all of them, so it's only 83%, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> you can even fight the save point enemy and all that good stuff. So, yeah, and you can see uh, where you find the enemy, what it's weak to, and all this different text and stuff like that. So, if you're ever not sure about an enemy, you can go through and see that there. Now, this is kind of neat here. The item encyclopedia. Now, I've only appeared. Now, I've only gotten seventy-three percent of the items of the game, which is interesting. I'll have to go through and figure out where the rest of these items are, but. Yeah, so you can go through and see all the different armors and stuff like that. And we haven't gotten everything yet, and uh, again, there's reasons for all that, and I'll go over that a little bit later. Now, this is kind of cool here, too, the Treasure Atlas. Now, there's an area we haven't visited yet, and I'll go over that as well, eventually. Now, so say you want a Treasure Atlas. Basically, you can go back and see where any treasure that you've gotten in the game is. So let's say, so we're here in the present. These are all the areas that you can visit here in the present. 
So let's go to the Hecaran Cave, for example. See? And if you go through the cave, this is where you got an ether. So basically, you can go through the cave and see where all the treasure is that you got in the game, which I think that's kind of cool. And this goes to the next area. And see, there's a mid ether there. And picked up an ether there. I don't know if this works for the. Uh... Yeah, so it doesn't even work for the sealed treasures, too. And we get a barrier ring and a speed ring. So, so that's how the treasure atlas works. And we can go through for any era of the game. So that's kind of cool. Now let's take a look at the ending log. So basically what we have here is... Apparently there's 13... Well, I'll show you here. There's 13 different endings in the game, which I think is... Which is a very unique concept to Chrono... Well, it isn't anymore, but when it first came out, this was a very unique concept to Chrono Trigger. And based on your actions, you can see what kind of different endings you get. So this is the standard ending. Contexts vary according to the status of the epoch. So basically what that means is that, depending on how you go through the game, uh, you know, it, certain events will happen that, will, that can cause different outcomes in the game. Like, for example, if you went through the scenario with Robo and didn't save Lara, she'd be sitting down as opposed to standing up. Or, if you defeated Magus, Glenn would be in his human form. Or Frog would be in his human form and would be Glenn. But that's just a couple different examples of what can happen there. There's the image uh, that is represented by the ending there. So, there's a bunch of different endings. But how do we access these different endings? The way we do that is through New Game Plus. Now, basically what's going to happen here is we're starting a new game. But, what we're going to do is we're going to select a file from going through the end of the game. So let's go ahead and load that file. Now this is, everything's exactly the same, just like from the beginning. Uh, yep, that's all fine, very good. And we get to name Chrono. Okay, now here we are through this again, and I'm just going to fast forward through this. But, except, but now, that dimensional vortex is on the world map. But how the hell are we going to get there? Yeah, so there's the fair. So this is the beginning of the game here. And there's just like before. Okay, let's go turbo past this. Oh yeah, the Millennial Fair. Okay, out of bed with you. Very good. Okay, very good. Yeah, Chrono's ready to go, but look at this. Chrono actually has the same amount of HP that he did at the end of the last game. And if you go to the menu here, check this out. Chrono's at level 50. So that's really cool. So, now, unfortunately, we don't have... We didn't save our money. Our money doesn't transfer over. But, all of our equipment from before is... has been carried over to this. So, we can equip the rainbow. Uh, I'm going to equip a vigilance hat for him. Moonbeam armor and the Wrath Band. So basically, Chrono is now just as good as he was when we defeated Lavos the first time. So that's very cool. Alright, very good. We'll go down here. Okay, the Young Adventurous Friend, so we can name Luca. Uh, sure. Alright, very good. And if we talk to the mom, we can still get 200 gold, and we're going to need it. All right, so here we are now on the world map. Now, unfortunately, it's like we're just at the beginning of the game, so we can't go to the Hecaran Cave or anything just like that. And we can't quite access that dimensional vortex just yet, but we will, trust me. Okay, so now, we, now what you can do is essentially just play through the game just like before. Yeah, 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 we've got this from before, and there's Melchior. No thanks. So, we want to go up here and we want to meet Marley. There she is. And then the bell rings. Uh oh, the pendant. And I believe I screwed this up the last time. And you actually want to pick up the pendant first and then talk to her. Uh, yes, you can have it back. Sure, we'll walk around together. That'll be good. And Princess Nadia lies and calls herself Marley. And Chrono, who still doesn't talk. Okay, and if we go... See, Marley's got the same amount of HP, too. 
basically we can go through now and we can give her all of her equipment there. I'm going to give her the prismatic helm because she needs a little more defense boost and we can give her prismatic dress. Very good. And let's go ahead and give her the golden stud. There we go. Very good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to off screen, walk around the fair and all that good stuff. And I'm going to meet you right before we're about to go north to see Luca's adventure. Now, unfortunately, we can't do that yet. So like I said, I'm going to go through and take care of all this. I will return the cat to, well, here, I'll do, I'll do this real quick. But yeah, I'm going to return the cat to the lady or to the kid there. Basically, I'm a, what I'm essentially doing at this point is getting a second playthrough of the game. And at different points in the game... Come on, kitty. There you go. At different points in the game, uh, you can go and fight Lavos, and that will cause you to get different endings. And we'll go over all that here in just a little bit. But here, let me return the kitty. No, come here, come here. There you go. Yep. And no problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go through, and I'll eventually go through the game off screen and meet you back here at the point when I can go through and see Luca's adventure. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it through here, and now we're ready to head up there. I've returned the cat. One thing I wanted to show you also is you may recall at the very beginning of the game, by the way, we have, we have all of our items from before. You can, get a, you can get a power or a strength capsule in Guardia, Guardia Forest. Well, you can actually go get it again. And we're well, basically going to have the opportunity to double strength our characters and make them twice as strong as we go through the game. Well, not necessarily twice as strong, but give them all tabs a second time, which is, is unbelievable. So now let's go up this way. And then there's a transporter. Very good. Hi, Luca. How you doing? Good to see you. Okay, very good. Now, you may notice, very if you look very carefully, I'll wait for it to have, yeah, there's a sparkling object there. What does that object mean? Now, we could do what we're supposed to do and, you know, go talk to Luca and have the teleport device not work and have Marley sent to 600 AD. <laughs> but <laughs> you know me better than that, BCS Universe. Let's check out this little sparkling thing here. Ooh, a gate. It's green, too. But we know how to use gates. This will be fine. Ooh, I wonder where this is going to take us. Maybe that dimensional vortex. Wait a minute. Aw, oh, crap. That's Lavos! But, but we already killed Lavos! And there's only two of them! How are we going to do this? I guess it's time for a boss battle against Lavos. Okay, now... Really, this part of Lavos is not that hard. Um, so basically what you want to do in the, for this first part, okay, minor spoiler alert, uh, is get haste going on Chrono. And all Chrono's going to do is attack for this part, because it's pretty straightforward. And then once we get haste going on Marley, once we get haste going on Marley, Chrono's job is simply to just attack and take out Lavos. That is his one job. And then Marley's going to be on healing duty. She can use Cure or Aura. Either one would be fine. And so we get to Marley's turn. And let's get Aura going on. Actually, let's get Cure going on. Right there. You know, I think I forgot to put the, set the battle mode to wait. Um, I'll have to do that next time. Or I'll just do it in between. Oops. Crap. I'll have to do that in between. Uh, here. I think this iteration of... Yeah, by the way, their speed is both now at max because of the speed tabs, and now they both have haste, so they're going to get in like two or three turns before Lavos gets in one. Well, that's awesome. And that's it. Well, that was easy enough. Haha, <laughs> take that, stupid Lavos. But yeah, there's more of them. Okay. <laughs> That's what she said? Anyway. Okay, well, let's definitely, uh... Yeah, let's get the wait command going there. Uh... Let's see, status bars. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Very good. Okay, very good. 
But now we're really deep inside of Lavos, as Marley said. But can we defeat the two most difficult bosses of the game with just two characters? You're going to have to wait next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care of y'all.